Damien, what's your verdict on, on that? Like, you know, Mourinho, we were talking beforehand about maybe a performance to quell the, the critics, quell the doubters, all that stuff, but there were some boos as the team left the field at the end of the match, no goals, and it was kind of yeah. limp. If you're a Man United fan, you're looking at that tonight. I think you'd have, if you're honest with yourself, I think it's an awful watch. Uh, granted, there's a strange atmosphere around the ground, no doubt, around the club, uh, body language of the players, and you'd have to say, off looking at that, they're nowhere near winning the league, let alone the Champions League. Uh, their next two group games in the Champions League is Juve home and away, mm -hmm. so potentially after four games they could still be on four points. And, you know, they spent 430 million and they look far, far from the finished article. So, like I said, even if they won tonight, that performance was, was ugly at best and I still think it's worrying times for the manager, which is sad to say. Mm. Um, other people will be, people who are not fans of Manchester United will be quite pleased with the way this thing is going. Um, but Liam, you know, I'm just thinking, we, we may hear from Mourinho uh, before we go off air, but what do you expect him to say about this evening? Uh, probably that there's no easy games in the Champions League. I think Guardiola has been saying it this mm -hmm. week um, after losing to Lyon. And I think Mourinho will probably say the same thing. There's no easy games. Valencia, good side, good pedigree. But really, uh, that's just covering over the cracks, isn't it? Uh, the lack of quality to that Manchester United team was scary. It was frightening. There was a bit more commitment in the second half, yeah. and I thought they got a bit more pressure on the Valencia players and consequently had more of the game. But, you know, the, the quality in their side... Like Sanchez, Do you think it would be better Sanchez, under a different Sanchez, manager? Sanchez, Pogba, Lukaku, Rashford... None of them played well. Mm. But do you think it would be better under another yeah, manager? Yeah, I don't think there's any plan or any strategy to their play. There's no playmaker in midfield. They're all over the place. Fellaini, where was, where was, what was he doing tonight? I don't know. He, it was terrible, really. Abject. Um, mm. And, you know, you could see the fans, they didn't want to protest so much, but they, they're just scratching their heads and saying, this is not our club anymore. This is not what Manchester United is about. And, mm. you know, you've got the international break coming up soon and that usually means some managers are going to lose their positions, the ones that are not doing very well. That's the time it comes along. Yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if it happens in the international break. Even if they do beat... Uh, Ray mentioned uh, Newcastle at the weekend. Even if they do beat Newcastle at the weekend, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a change of management at Old Trafford. Richie? I, I don't think it matters what Mourinho says now in his post-match conference he, uh, uh, interviews. He may try and come up with something to try and direct us all down a certain line of, of, uh, of conversation. What matters now is what Ed Woodward is saying privately to the Glazers and what they're saying in return. I don't think they can look at tonight and have any different view than they had when they looked at the West Ham game or the scenes after being knocked out of the League Cup against Derby and all the information they're privy to, which we're not, which is the actual realities of what's life like at the training ground between the staff and Mourinho or Mourinho and the players, the conversations the players are having with each other, their advisors with the club, who's actually wanting to leave the club? Is Pogba's talk about leaving? Is that just paper talk or has he communicated that to the club? They'll assess mm. it all and I can't see them. I cannot see how you could look at a whole picture here and say that the thing that we need to do as a club is to back the manager. I understand like the, we're looking all night about listen to boos or jeers or yeah. what were the United but, fans saying? they used to him and bring in who now? Well, well that's, the, that's the issue. There's another, like, that's have they the made this United decision have. already? Yeah, who, that's the issue the United have. Are they going to just repeat what they did yeah. in the last two or three times? So they give it to a new man, give him the budget, he'll spend a year or two trying to get rid of the disenfranchised Mourinho players or the players that don't fit into the mm. new man's tactics or are they going to restructure and get a director of football in and make did Mourinho's successor be what Mourinho hinted on the opening day that his role was becoming head coach of a club? And maybe what else needed. Whatever, the whatever happens, off. whatever happens, there's major, major surgery needed to that yeah. squad of players. They are not good enough to win the league. They know, as Damien said, they're nowhere near winning the Champions League. Mm. And uh, Ed Woodward has... And he, he's not beyond criticism as well because he got rid of Moyes after one season, not even one season. Eight months or something. Yeah, and, yeah. and he put Van Hal in place. It wasn't, wasn't a match for Manchester United. And now he's put Mourinho in place. It never was going to be a match of the traditions and, and the legacy of yeah. that club.